I think that Misfits are just a team that at this point it is standard to expect the unexpected from them. Admittedly, they are still this team fighting team, but if that's going to win you games, that's all you need to do to get into play. No one needs to get over the ball. Oh, we're better going in with the Mega Man, though. Immediate exhaust messes on the chase to cancel the sound. Maybe the damage to the Infernum! Go, go, go. Might call the sound to retreat, but it's... Oh, they fucked them up so bad! Vian, Vian. And it's what a win from them once again. A comeback to end all comebacks. Misfits take their fourth win of summer. It's going to be an interesting matchup, and we know how crazy Misfits versus G2 usually go. It's good, it's good, it's good. Infernal Soul will have been up the target ultimate. They find themselves space. They're invulnerable for a brief moment. Flack it. Untouched on the backside. The Twitch. Nice kill! They've done it! From 0, 4 to 5 and 4, they managed to find the win! Platon, how are you feeling? I don't feel anything. You I don't feel, feel like anything? I mean, I feel a bit happy, but I think that team fights really hard, so... Yeah? I mean, felt boring. It was oh, just farming, 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 and then Maybe winning. We were both kind of in trading. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least I had good idea. Marissa? Yeah. yeah. Two a week. Feels fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, I guess everyone just got their shit together after we lost four games in a row. If you watch our like first games like we would do like plays individually on the map and we would not play as a team people would get like caught right and left Relevant has stepped too far forward thinking he had reinforcements he does not no it's volley back oh, wait, he's gonna do it he's gonna do it okay we <laughs> <laughs> Silver screams by Marxy all over again, VTO dies! Right now, like, we are together and, yeah, I think it shows. Our team identity is more clear right now. We just worked on the basics more and, like, improved our drafts because we had to f figure out, like, what fits us the best and what our team identity is. And once we figured that out, everything is, like, going smoother. We had a lot of rookies who'd never played in front of a crowd before. So having more experience playing in front of the fans has been really helpful for them, so they're more settled now. You have Perry? No, that was number nine on the hammer. Huh? number nine on the hammer, then you are... I knew that like Irrelevant is good mechanically, but the only like worrying thing is that he would be a rookie and he would have to fit in the team like in just one split because we didn't have him in the spring, he had to come in summer and fit. And obviously it's hard for a rookie, he has maybe like extra like stress and stuff. But yeah, I mean, we like believed in him and he didn't prove us wrong. He really wants to learn, he wants to develop, he wants to grow. He's going to the gym and sending me pictures out on the treadmill, working out, doing his best and everything he can do. So he really is trying to grow and learn as much as he can. He knows that he's coming in uh, with uh, the least amount of experience. So he's l learning and listening to his teammates, uh, which really being able to sacrifice for your team, being able to be willing to do that is not something that's easy. When you're coming to this league, being such a star, I think it's easy to want to play selfishly, but uh, Relevant's always been willing to sacrifice for the team and play for the team, which is really helpful for us. It's difficult to answer whether LEC is weaker uh, because everyone is beating everyone. But I do think that some of the other teams did get stronger from Spring Split, for example, Mad Lions. So I think that there's more competition and more teams fighting for the playoff spots. Our goal is to make Worlds, but right now we're just focused on taking it week by week. We're not satisfied with being 5-4 and we know we have a lot of areas that we still need to improve on. So we need to just keep working on them and keep getting a little bit better each, each week. And, when it comes to the playoffs, um, then we'll, we'll start thinking more about Worlds, but for now we just take it week by week. Right now, maybe we're not the cleanest, but uh, we're making it interesting at least. One, two, three, together! Let's go! How long until we start? About 12 minutes. 
key matchup overall. Misfits versus Excel with Dracos and Kate. Hi, 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 This is a big game. These teams are neck and neck in the standings. Misfits have been on the rise. Excel lost to two bottom teams last week. So it's all about setting expectations. Misfits, can they keep the streak going? Excel, can they find their footing once again? Gwenny Salon, Gwenny Salon. Maybe you're not that. You're not old. Oh, it's good, it's good. Sabina, go jump. I'm dead. Oh. That's too fast. Yeah. I need help here. Yeah. They finish, they finish. You must go try. Positive signs for Misfits in the early game, but it was not enough to stop Excel looking back in form here. Communicate, communicate, okay? We're missing that yesterday. Let's do it better today. Let's get to win. Okay? Let's go, boys. Win on three. One, two, three, win! Let's go! There always comes a point where it doesn't matter if you're a late game team because you're so far behind, you're not winning this game any longer. And I fear for Misfits, that might happen against Vitality. A fight, Perks unstoppable. The back line of Vitality remaining untouched. Perks absolutely monstrous. Not the big explosive damage, but the sustained damage that will win these fights. Karzy popping off, Vitality. The TP out once he breaks the tower. They're ready for the full on 5v5. They want to head and face first into Perks, but Shlatan is already so oh low. My God. Oh my, Talia E is a disgusting ability. There's just nothing left for these poor rabbits. They get torn apart, and finally the Nexus will fall. Unlucky, we went 0 2 this week. I think the extra game could have won easily. And in the Vitality game, our draft was pretty bad. We need to beat either Fnatic, G2, Mad, or Rogue. And we are pretty, pretty safe in playoffs. I think we can do that for sure. When last week we beat two of them, I think we need to pull ourselves together a bit and we're gonna make it.